So, Google has managed to do it again. They have managed to bypass all of their despicableness and get good on the public image. Uh, so, what apparently I found out just now on Reddit is that uh, Google plans to have this global campaign to support gay marriage and transgenderism and things like that, even when homosexuals themselves cannot all agree on um, the different levels of homosexuality. Transgenders do not always agree with homosexuals and their politics and things like that because it's all bullshit. It's all just bullshit bantering and identity politics and things like that. And what this comes down to is the fact that Google is distracting you from the fact that they are the biggest evil there is. They, they care nothing of your privacy. They care nothing of the workers they exploit. They care nothing of the fact that they are this multi-billionaire monopoly that controls the internet and can basically shut you off anytime they want to. They have so much fucking money that they can rival NASA in the space program department. But you're going to ignore all of that because they support gay marriage and therefore that makes them loving and liberal. Yeah. Really? Really? You make me sick. I know goddamn well that half the people watching this right now are going to be butt mad because I'm talking bad about Google when they support gay marriage. It's not the point of whether or not they support gay marriage. It's that I know Google. I know what they're about. I know what they do. You know what they're about. You know what they do. But just because now they support gay marriage, it's all fine and dandy. Would that work for Jim Profit? If Jim Prophet uh, waved a rainbow flag around and rode a party van like fucking Google's doing, would you suddenly be on board against the war on moderators? I sincerely doubt it. But then again, Jim Prophet doesn't have a multi-billion dollar monopoly on everything. So that's why you don't support me. Because you like to have a god figure. You like to have a dictator to reign over you. You need idol-worshipping figures, and Google is perfect for that. Facebook is another good example. So that is what it comes down to. You know, a lot of Christians uh, wondered what idol-worshipping really meant. I mean, a lot of them misinterpret it as just paying tribute to uh, an item. In other words, like how many pagans have crystals and and jewelry that they use for ritual sacrifice. Well, not ritual sacrifice. Ritual sacraments. They use it for ritual sacraments and rites and prayer and things things like that. And Christians interpret that as idol worship. I don't think that's what idol worship means. It goes deeper than that. Because guess what? Many Christians use items to visualize and to concentrate. And that's what the rosary is for. So what it, what, uh, what it really comes down to is that idol worship is worshiping something as though it were a god. When you know it isn't or you've just convinced yourself that it is. And that's the way corporations are in many ways. People worship corporations. Despite all the bad they do, they make excuses for it. And despite how they have no interest in the public circle, they have no interest in the people that they hurt, and they're just going to exploit the land and exploit the labor, you're going to continue to per put your faith in them as though they were a god. And that is idol worship. And if anything were to be a sin, it would be that. So, just give that some thought. I know a lot of you fucking moderator supporters aren't going to listen, but maybe some of you Christians who've lately been watching my videos might listen to it. And maybe you might learn a little something, or maybe it'll just give you a new perspective on things and such and such. So, see you later.